Well, howdy, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Recipe for Disaster. For those of you that did not catch the live stream of Recipe for Disaster, it was a banger, dude. <laughs> it was pretty good. We had a lot of good times, a lot of fun times. We had about a three and a half hour stream. I went until what happened, and what happened happened to be we freaking lost it all. We played free mode, we played the hardest difficulty, and um, I tried my best, and it's Pretty, pretty spicy. If you want to check out the live stream, you're more than welcome to. You can go ahead and check out the replay for yourself. But um, I'm going to be doing another live stream on Saturday. I think that's, what, tomorrow? Tomorrow. If you're interested, make sure to hit that set reminder and all that. But other than that, if you're just interested for the Let's Play series, well, here we are. We're back with the Let's Play series. Uh, there has been an update. There has been a Christmas-themed update. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm very, very excited about that. Now, my confidence is rising high here. Um, who knows? We might finish the goal to this restaurant okay don't don't worry about this <laughs> that was the live stream that was the live stream one don't worry about that um we might finish this restaurant goal and maybe the first 10 15 minutes maybe maybe of course i've been wrong many many times i'm just saying Really, the only thing we really need to do is kind of set people in tables, I think. And I think that's pretty much it. And then, of course, buy the plot of lands, which we're already way ahead of. Like, we can buy those anytime soon. By the way, you got to change the currency. Let me just go ahead and change the currency once again. God, God, God damn it. There we go. Once that bug is fixed, I will be very, very happy. <laughs> okay. All right. So, where we stand here in our everything here. We stand everywhere. So, 12 seated tables. We need one, two, three, four five six we actually need six more tables because this is going to take longer than i thought i thought we had more than six tables but maybe not we're going to need six more freaking tables now the losing condition here is to have a popularity below 10 percent. that's not bad at all like compared to what i just got done doing on the live stream with hard mode it's not bad at all so one thing i'm going to do is i'm actually going to pop this open right here this plot of land here and i'm going to kind of replicate this uh this what is this? This, you know, the freaking this. Like, first of all, we don't need that tree. Get rid of the tree. I'm gonna replicate the bathroom here. And should I? Doesn't matter. I mean, I do have a bathroom over here. It doesn't probably matter. If anything, I can extend the dining. It's a weird layout of a of a restaurant. I'm a. I never was good at these things, so yeah, it's okay. I think we're fine. Uh, yeah. It makes it look like this doesn't have a freaking wall. This bathroom, but it does. Okay, it does. So instead, oh wait, I forgot about the count of these. I'm an idiot. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're an idiot. Okay, great. Uh, so we have, <laughs> we have enough. <laughs> We're going to be just fine. I'm going to go ahead and boot this up on the side here. I don't know why. I mean, I bought the plot of land. I probably didn't need to buy the plot of land, but I needed to buy it anyways for the, uh, for the wind condition. So there we go. We're going to go for straight wind here. Uh, we want to dupe this. I don't like how that sits this isn't gonna be perfect it's not gonna be just as perfect right it's gonna be a little weird oh god it's gonna be a little weird i will say um we did talk about having uh servers and cleaners dedicated to split sides of the restaurant of the restaurant um and that still might be the case of course but right now we're kind of just going with the flow really let's go ahead and open up so, yeah, we'll open up. We've spent $1,200 on booths and tables. We should have enough tables for asses. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I didn't even see that one right there. 14. We have 14 tables. We should be just fine. Let's go ahead and super speed this. So, yeah, let's just say if the game were to end early, um, I think I will just continue the restaurant until the end of the episode is probably what I'll do. Yeah, so uh, we're very, very close from competing the campaign. I did talk to one of the devs, and the devs did say that uh, they are, and they are, going to be adding more missions to the game and updates. They said that this, or they, I say he, uh, he is speaking for his team, and him, it's him and his team. He did say that this is just the beginning of Recipe for Disaster, so if you guys really enjoy Recipe for Disaster, guess what? You have a lot of surprises coming your way, I guess, is what I've been told. That's what I've been told. That's what I've been told, at least. All right. Nonetheless, let's let our kitchen kitch, kitchen kitch, and let it run as smoothly as possible. I think we're going to be just fine. This is going to be very passive of us to do. We don't really need to do much 
as it is now we are going to be seeing how this works out now that we have this side of the dining room opened and actually we need to probably think about expanding our cleaning room here we do have two cleaners essentially just for this purpose in time let me go make sure that's all cleaned up there we go as you can see but everything else i think is on automated i think we're pretty much automatic baby i could put like a window or two over here that'd be kind of cool i did leave end or end on the episode or i did at one point in the last episode have five dollars in my name over stupid stuff i didn't realize that i uh windows were expensive it is what it is but this is kind of like a walk in the park look at that this is a walk in the park compared to our live stream and our uh, hard mode difficulty time it is different it is definitely different the hard mode is is a very good challenge i like it i dig it um it's very very difficult for sure um and the losing conditions is pretty spicy like the losing conditions for hard mode in case you don't know is you can't go into debt at any given time and you cannot have a single break point if someone breaks points uh it is game over right it is absolutely game over a couple of level ups going out here adam right here adam hello adam he's a very good cook we will make him a michelin chef so that he will never screw up christina uh she is also a good cleaner i don't know if she's a designated cleaner or not but uh, what we'll do is we'll give her a uh, love 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 and she loves grilling apparently now i don't know look at this like this it's getting so out of hand like we just need to like skim through this like it's it's too good right we're too good for this i don't want to toot my own horn but look at us go we're sitting at 100 percent popularity everything fine here like i said today's episode is going to be fairly fairly easy to do it's going to be the wrap up of the series by the way i guess this wraps up this series <laughs> i was not prepared for that and i have said it now yeah school bus has arrived now so now the only thing we need to do to finish up this level is buy the last plot of land which is very very easy to do honestly it's like what is it eight hundred dollars eight hundred dollars eight hundred dollars so if we spend eight hundred dollars here we will we'll complete it congratulations you have completed all the objectives and you completed it in two and a half hours but we are going to continue to play for the rest of the day just to see how much money we can end up making and how well our customers are and you know to fill out the space here fill out the tables and all that and, and whatnot so we'll definitely do that as well but there we go big carrot is now gone or now gone but now done so international chef with the michelin chef is a perfect upgrade for adam there i'm gonna dig into that there we go running low on sour on cream cheese baby no we do not want to low, run low on cream cheese absolutely not so now that we are having more customers this is actually something to think about now that you have the ability to have more customers that means more uh, customers are going to be served which means more things are going to be ordered which means more things are going to be cooked right obviously which means guess what you better get your food storages up and going here so we're actually gonna since we did it done did it we're gonna actually go ahead and put a cap in 12 minimum storage here on everything across the board here i think 12 minimum storage will be just fine and dandy i think that will be just fine and dandy there we go just give me a sec while i do this like i know this isn't like pogging out of control here but here we are <laughs> it has to be done it has to be done so now that we are done with the scenarios now we just gotta wait right i guess we gotta wait until the next scenarios do release for this series con to continue but for the right now this episode will be the last episode of the series until uh the new updates come out if you want to continue more recipe for disaster like i said you should just go ahead and check out our live streams for uh recipe for disaster um i will have a playlist separate i will have the let's play series for recipe for disaster and then i'll have a, a playlist for recipe for disaster live the live streams right they're pretty fun it's more intense and my god it's a uh, very interactive <laughs> it's very interactive so we are having a little bit of queuing issues out here and i will add more tables like maybe now i could actually hire another server which is probably not a bad idea to think about wow look at all these guys that just came in robert sean good at serving robert or sean ferguson very good at serving um let's see sean ferguson he's an animal lover and he's connected so we're gonna hire this guy he's oven is five he's fryer is four but his serving is good so we need the uh serving out of him so let's go ahead and hire him jared gibson is insecure so he won't be able to serve that's fine but look at him he's a fryer he's an oven and he's a freaking stove and he loves cleaning this guy is incredible too
yeah, this guy is pretty good. <laughs> this guy is really good. Um, we're almost at our limit of employees, but uh, uh, we're, we're fine, I guess. We'll, 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 we'll wait on that. Now, real quick, let's go ahead and add some more tables. Let's go ahead and duplicate some tables. Now, in no order exactly, in no uh, fanciness order, right? And not like to make it all symmetrical in anything. I'm just going to go ahead and just slide a few tables here and there. Have some people come in. That will be fine. Now, we do have three servers. And all three servers are at five skilled. Which makes it every even more important. So, now we can see quite a bit of people, right? We can see a lot of people. Yeah, I think this is mostly on just... We'll see what happens, right? It's not going to be... <laughs> I, I don't know. Unless things, like, blow up and bad things happen, I can't imagine this episode uh, failing on us today. I, 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 I mean, I know we passed the mission, but, I mean, if anything, the restaurant could potentially crash and burn, right? Still, I, I, don't go, I don't go past. I don't go past this game because this game always surprises me to some degree. When things are going just fine, guess what? Things are about to crash, right? Um, so, yeah, you always got to be on your toes with this game for sure. But here we go. Um, let's see how much money we can really make out of this out of this restaurant here. We could add things to the menu, of course. Um, there's a lot of different kinds of things. The Pink Deliche is, is off the chain. We don't have anything at $100. You know what would be one cool that would be really cool I just think uh, thought about? What if, and hear me out, what if you can have drinks? Why aren't drinks in the game? Why aren't there, like, sodas that you can serve? Wines, beers, ales, um... You know, stuff like that. Alcoholic beverages. A bar. Holy crap. Future update. I'm looking right at you, devs. Yeah, if we can have, like, a bar, that'd be cool. Serve drinks. Right? A wine? Some wine, dude? Maybe add wine to our meat? I don't know if you... I don't think you can add wine to any of the meat. Like, you know how you would, like, you know, cook, like, red meat with some wine? Red meat and wine, baby? Or, like, you know, that'd be nice. Like, have a nice appetizer where it's like the cheese board is out you know the cheese board crackers with some wine throwing you guys some ideas <laughs> throwing you guys some ideas but there we go we've made a lot of money today we spent a lot of money today as well and people you know they're gonna like it and they're not gonna like it but most of the time they're gonna like it yeah yeah most of the time they're gonna like it very good all right so there we go that's the day today very good day very very good day excelente day some would say all right very good all right so let's go ahead and turn in three thousand dollars holy crap actually we made 174 dollars but we spent tw uh, twenty six hundred dollars buying plots of land uh buying tables and things like that so we actually made 20 we probably made about twenty eight hundred dollars that day Good God. Wait, does it say in sales? Look at the sales. $4,200 in sales. My Lord. How's our dishes? Great. Send it to day 12. Now we can make plot 12, or we can, we can get plot 2 and plot 3, right? We could definitely get those. We could expand out even more if we wanted to. You know what? We could actually do some outdoor dining. Um, and that's something I haven't really experimented with. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do some outdoor dining. Let's sell some of these plants and let's do this um if if i can hire a a server yes a server dedicated only to outdoor dining that's what i'm gonna need this person is good at cleaning and good at serving so this is great we're gonna hire kirsty pretty sure we're gonna hire kirsty who is connected as well so this is gonna be another server but this server is gonna be directly just outside now one thing that I'm very curious about is how does this work? Does there is there like fences that we can add to this game or add in this game like fences, bush walls like to have a fence perimeter around here? That'd be kind of cool. I don't know if you can or not. I don't think you can. It doesn't look like you can. definitely can't by the way the christmas update is not in the in this save file because i think it was before the update but in the live stream we do have the christmas update in that we didn't use any of the christmas <laughs> furniture quite yet but we will we definitely will all right so this is what i want to do i want to put like a door right here yeah let's do a two-way 
single glass door, right? And then we'll go paint the flooring, right? We'll paint the flooring some kind of cobblestone type thing. I, 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 I want to, like, cement, like, I mean, it doesn't look bad, but I'd like it to be called cobblestone, maybe. Uh, tiles? Ah, uh, it's not bad. Yeah, let's do tiles. Let's do tiles. I like the tiles. All right, so we're going to go the outside here. We're going to go tiles. One thing that's going to make this weird is the queue, obviously. The queue is going to be a little bit awkward, right? How do we combat the queue? We put the queue right there. Yeah, that's a little bit better. It's weird that they wait right here, but that, you know, sometimes that happens. So now they come out, right? They come out and I'm going to stick with the same, you know, same theme here. They come out. They have some food there. And this is like perfect advertising as well. Have some food there. Anybody walking by seeing these people eat the, this incredible food? This is advertising. Perfect. Okay, there we go. Now let's maybe add some decorations. Is there like bushes or anything that I can add out here? Like a bush. Like I want like a hedge. Like give me a nice hedge. I guess we could do this. Like you know those square hedges? I'd like to do that. We'll do these instead. Kind of put these around. There we go. Awesome. Now people know that this is the outdoor dining. How's the ambience over here? Oh, it's pretty good, actually. It's pretty decent. Now, real quick, let's pull up the walls here. Now, this is a problem, right? I don't like the look of this. So we're going to add some uh, decorations. And we're probably going to change this kind, this this part of the wall paint here, uh, believe it or not. We're going to change it to something else. Yeah, there we go. So the exterior wall will be this. Only. Only this little corner will have that exterior wall. And then we will have like flower boxes made. I hate how low the flower boxes are. They're very, very low. Um, maybe we'll have. Hmm. Well, we could put flower boxes. Yeah, we could put flower boxes. It's not one way that I would go with just because of how low it is, but there's not much of any options I would like to do. I, I mean, a mirror would be weird outside. A TV does happen but not in a non-gated area right i would like a gated area or a fenced off area or like a half wall area for me to add a tv outdoors even this is kind of strange but we're still doing it we're still doing it. i still like the idea now any lights out here when it gets dark uh yeah we can add some wall lights possibly maybe they'll like that like a nice wall light right there right there kind of spruce up the outside here a little bit right I'm sure they'll love that. Okay, very good. So like I said, one person is going to be dedicated to this. Now that we have this luxury of money, we can we can practically buy and do whatever we want. Now, I forgot who was the person that we hired his name. Kirsty, I think that's what it was. Kirsty. So once Kirsty shows up, there's so many names up there. Kirsty, there she is. Okay, good. So this, no, no, no. You guys stay inside. We will have Kirsty. Kirsty do this. She will be doing all of these. Boom, boom. Now, admittedly, this is a quite a bit like this is a far walk, right? So we might need to have some backup for Kirsty. We definitely might. Where does Sean currently work at? Does Sean do anything? What does Sean do? Sean looks like he doesn't do a damn thing. Sean Ferguson, not Sean Kennedy. Sean doesn't do anything. Oh, wait, unless this is only showing servers. Now, hang on. Where does Sean work? Can we see where Sean works? Okay, get me out of this. Get me out of this. Get me out of this. What do you... Like, Christina. Christina. I don't think Sean... I think Sean... Maybe we hired him? Okay, maybe. Maybe. Uh, you know what, Sean? Hey, buddy. Uh... You're going to be part of the outside crew. You're going to go Sean out here. And then uh, we're going to go Kirsty as well. And then we'll copy that and paste it. So bam, 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 and bam. Very good. Okay, cool. So now we have dedicated outside. Uh, look at this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have dedicated outside servers. That should be good. Uh, yeah, let's go. 
Turn off the ambience and let it ride, baby. Let it ride. Now, Kirsty also is a um, is a cleaner as well. So I need to actually get that going here. So I'm going to make another zone for cleaning. It's going to be strictly Kirsty. Yep, strictly Kirsty. And I'm going to expand this out quite a bit. Right there. And then this actual area needs to be expanded as well. So that we can have all... Whoops. So we can have all... Sorry. This... Thank you. Expand. We need to expand this out so that all the areas here are now available to be cleaned. There we go. Now, I think this is a good good call. Now, when it comes to staff, we can only hire two more people, right? We can only hire two more people. I think even two more people would be a little bit overkill for us. But, um, you know, whatever. It's fun regardless. So, like I said, in the hard mode difficulty, our... our Well, in this mode right here, in the, in the mission mode, it's a little bit different from hard mode. This mode shows that our uh, employees get paid like $5 an hour, $4 an hour, $3 an hour. In hard mode, they get paid like actual wages. Like you would see like $10, $13, $15 an hour, which makes the game even a little bit more difficult when you have those price, uh, those overhead expenses, which makes it fun, right? That was an unexpected uh, challenge I, I, I got myself into there. Well, I got myself into a lot of things, but it, it had to be done. Check this out though. People are actually using the outdoor, um, the outdoor porch here. Now, one thing that would actually fit very, very well for this, and I know you're probably screaming at me now about it. Um, the thing that would really work for this, if I can find it, is this. Windows, dude. Windows. Fancy wide windows. Kind of. Maybe not that wide. Maybe like, no. 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 Yeah, like a nice, simple window. Okay, I hate what I did here. Maybe take out the lights. Like, it is it is a little strange. <laughs> it is a little strange, no? Let's actually get rid of that. That people can sit there and see each other. But maybe not too strange. Maybe not as strange as I think it is. I don't know. Does that happen at real restaurants? I, I can't remember. I can't really, I don't go out to restaurants a lot because I can't afford it. But, like, I know the windows over here are different than the windows over here, right? Like, I really like this window and how this, this side of the restaurant is going here. I'm going to actually duplicate that if I can. These windows are freaking ex expensive as hell. I know. $5, $5, $5 foot long. Keep it in your head there, forehead. Yep, yep. But this is, like, a little bit different, right? This is a little bit different. I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. Have some awnings maybe over here. How much are these? 90 bucks? Okay, now we're really playing with fire. <laughs> now we're really playing with fire. All right. That's okay. There we go. These servers do have to go a long ways to, you know, and these people have to wait a while, right? They have to wait a while to get their food. But well, that's, you know, they should expect that. They should expect, if they're outside having a dining experience, they, did, they should expect that they um, that they should wait a little bit longer for their food, you know? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm wrong about that. But I would like, like, if I'm sitting outside at a restaurant, and I've done it before once or, once or twice, I expect, you know, a little bit more time. I don't like to sit outside at a restaurant because, you know, food, dry, wind, like the wind, F the wind, F the insects, the bugs, the flies, the bees. You know, you ever sitting there and a bee comes and you got to jump out of your seat or the wind comes and blows all the napkins off the table. You know, it's like, I don't want that. I don't want that. <laughs> food is... <laughs> The restaurant business is a scam anyways. You're telling me I get to go here and spend $60 for food? Food is food, dude. I don't care if it's $10 at the grocery store. It's food. It's the experience and the quality, I guess, is what you're paying for. Mostly the experience, because you don't eat food for... I say this loosely. You don't eat food for quality. Well, you do, but you mostly eat food for the experience, right? You go out, to, even think about it now, you go out to dinner, you're like, I'm going to go out to my favorite restaurant because they have my favorite food. But also, 
You go there. The favorite food is the experience, right? I like to think it's the experience. I could be wrong. I'm going to give him the silky smooth voice for the serving there, which that will help out tons. So thank you, Sean Kennedy. It feels like that's like a name for like someone off NPR or something. Sean Kennedy. We're tuning in live now with Sean Kennedy. I don't know. Look at the money, though. The money is out of control. The money, money, money name. Mo money, mo problems. You ever hear that? That's true. Mo money, mo problems. There's a five-star review there. One thing that's really cool about the hard mode is that there's different tiers. There's tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four, tier five. Uh, kind of like little side goals that if you accomplish them, you actually get to put up rewards and plaques and trophies in your restaurant. So that is something I'm really excited about for the free play mode is that you can actually put trophies and, and plaques and awards uh, around in your restaurant um when you do free play so there if you haven't played free play play it on like a normal difficulty play it on an easy it's a little bit of a different experience and it's quite fun it's quite fun indeed still have no idea how multiplayer is going to work little nervous on that one i wonder if they're going to do it kind of like how sim city used to do multiplayer you know how like people would have a bunch of cities and like you compete against each other whether it be like money and all that but Will they do that here? Will like a bunch of people be able to join like a, not like a server, but like a, 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 a lobby, I guess. And then um, everybody competes, you know, competes with money wise in the restaurants. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know how that's all going to work. But I'm very excited. It's, 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 it's very, um, it's very fun to hear that the devs say that this is just scratching the surface because I feel like this game is a very well well-made game even in early access here um it's a very well-made game one headache that we had i mean admittedly at the beginning of early access with the fires the fires were out of control they took that in they realized that they said damn it uh we'll nip that in the butt and they did they didn't nip that in the butt so good for them right great for them so let's see here let's go fast make him fast make me i don't know a popular kid why not there you go Looking good on the money-wise, looking fantastic, of course. Look at our freaking customers sitting here in the outdoor dining. The flower beds make no sense. Actually, the flower beds go really well with the windows. That's really cool. That's a good mixture there. Huh. I like that a lot. I do, I do, I do. People on this side of the restaurant are using these restrooms. One thing that I can actually do before, is, um, before we close here is probably a... Hey, Finish up the bathroom. Yeah, let's finish up the bathroom. Why not? Let's add six toilets. Or three toilets. But, you know, six in total. Let's see here. I'd like to paint the walls as well. What, what, what is this? This one? Yes. Okay. We'll do that. Let's finish off the bathrooms. And maybe even give them uh, sinks in there, too. <laughs> maybe. That's 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 asking too much, right? And then asking too much. There we go. We'll do that. Do that. And do that. Very good. And then, yes, I'll give him a sink. There, 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 and there. Very good. And then over here, like, do can we fit a sink in here? I can't tell. I can't remember. No, we can't. Those people, you know, anybody on the right side, they get no sinks. Everybody on the left side, they get sinks. That's how we roll in this restaurant. Right is tight. Left is, left is loose. That is no... That doesn't even make sense. Okay. <laughs> there we go. We're doing just fine. We're having a good time. We're playing this game. It's all good. It's all very, very good. And um, I think this has been a very successful mission. No fail, right? No failure. I don't think we failed a single mission uh, through this entire Let's Play. Yeah, I don't think we've uh, we failed an entire mission at all. I think we did everything just fine. I can't remember. I'm trying to think like through our Let's Play series here. Did we fail a mission? I don't think we did. Somebody, I mean, people warned me like, hey, watch out. This is going to be hard. But we, we flourished, dude. We did well. Yeah. It took us 12 days to make an incredible restaurant here at the Big Carrot. Not the Big Apple. Don't get it confused. Yeah. I think that's it. I think everybody, we have like a couple customers it left. And that will be that. And we've completed our mission scenario through Recipe for Disaster. Until, of course, they add more, right? Because we already know they're going to add more. So that's going to be fun. 
So there we go. Fantastic. $1,700 in the bank. This is legitimately a profitable place. No things to take care of. Nothing to really look on. Uh, we spent money just to spend money, honestly. We finished off with 4.0 stars. I'm not really sure how to get the 5 stars. I haven't really seen a 4.5 or 5 star. Uh, but... Just so you know, we did uh, finish off here on 100 popularity, 100% popularity. Um, we were spending money just to spend money because we have the money to do it. If you take a look at our finances here, like we made $3,800 again. Crazy, right? We spent $3,800 in renovations. Even more crazy. But yeah, um, I, would stick, I would stick around if there was other issues, but there's not really any other issues other than maybe cosmetically. Uh, other than that, like our, our, our staff, our employees, they all are fine. They're working fine, and I think we've groomed them and treated them the way they needed to be treated or the right way, and they're looking pretty good, and uh, they're doing good. And uh, I will always save this file. I always have this big carrot file here, so that would be fun. Let's go to look, take a look at our staff, see how everyone's doing overall. Uh, you can actually see uh, the idle percentage, cooking percentage, cleaning, and tired percentage. Uh, on all of your staff, which is a really cool thing. If you didn't know and you kind of, you know, sped over this, this is a very useful tool, tool as well. Now for the dishes, the caviar, I should be a five-star restaurant selling caviar like that, baby. Anyways, that's going to do it in today's episode. I know it was a relatively short episode, but really it's kind of just wrapping it up, right? Putting a bow on it. So here we are. We are done with this uh, series until further notice, until they add more missions to the um to the game once they do add more missions to the game i will gladly jump back on and uh, bring you more of this series but until for right now i will see you in the live streams of recipe for disaster if you want to see more recipe for disaster check out the live streams other than that hope you check out my other series here on the channel hope to speak to you soon and i hope you have a fantastic day good night good morning good evening wherever you may be and do as always take care and now for my next number, I'd like to return to the classics.